the following file will showcase the benefits of using stock models in a terminal machine. As you can see here, we have the blue wireframe which, which represents the stock, and then we have the part that we're trying to machine. If I go ahead and run Toolpath with the current technology available up to this point, you will notice that FeatureCam generates the turning operation, and then it goes ahead and creates 3D Toolpath for the surface milling feature. Now, when we create the toolpath for the surface milling feature, we don't really look at the stock. So if I put this on a back view, and you look at the tool, at the tool from the top, you can see that feature cam goes ahead and machines the whole part out of a square bounding box. This, this means actually a couple things. One is that it cuts a lot of air. The other one is that there's a chance that we're going to gouge with the chuck on, this, on the machine when we go ahead and create toolpaths in this area right here. So what we can do now is instead of uh, generating toolpaths in a square bounding box, we can go ahead and specify an STL in the stock tab as a solid model. So in this case, I have three STL models, one after each operation, one after the turning, one after the, surf the first surface milling feature, and one after the other surface milling feature. And I'm assigning those STLs for each operation, effectively achieving toolpaths that are being clipped to the previous operation. Uh, for those of you not familiar with exporting STL models, all that you have to do is run the 3D simulation, and then once the simulation is done, you go to View, Simulation, Save Simulation Results. This is going to create an SDL file that then you can re-import into the, the active file and use it as a, as a previous stock. If I go ahead and check all the, check the turning operation and the other three surface milling features now, and run a machine simulation. Now, when I look at the simulation, you will see how FeatureCam uses the previous operation to generate toolpaths out of. So, for example, the first surface milling feature will be using the previous turning operation as a stock. Um, once we rotate the part 180 degrees, the second surface milling feature is going to use the previous operation as a stock. Um, another benefit, as you can see here, is that by keeping the toolpath to the area where there's material left, we're able to avoid gouges with the, with the spindle um, without having to do anything, without having to do any boundaries or without having to set any constraints in the machining area. Now that the part has been rotated 180 degrees, you can also see how FeatureCam is generating toolpaths that are being clipped to both the turning operation and the previous surface milling operation. Um, and then lastly, we're going to come back with the tool from the front we're going to remove the material left by the two uh, surface milling operations. This is a great tool, not only for terminal machines, but also um, for four-axis parts, or for parts that uh, maybe require some remachining after some two and a half D, where feature can, can create an STL out of the previous operation and use it for 3D machining.